In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build your own real estate database, also known as a real estate CRM, using Google Sheets. All right, so the first thing we want to do is you want to go on to Google and type in Google Sheets, and you're going to see Google Sheets free online spreadsheets for personal use, and you're going to want to open up a Google Sheet. Once you've got a Google Sheet opened up, we're going to give it a title up here where it says Untitled Spreadsheet. We're going to call this Real Estate CRM. You can give it any title you want. Next, we're going to come down here into the cells. So as you click around or you tab around with your arrow keys, you can go around all these different cells. So we're going to go up here to the A1 cell, and this is going to be the start. So first, I'm going to give the first row, row one here, if I highlight it, this row here is going to be all of my different column titles that I'm going to organize data by. So first, we're going to have date as one of our columns. Then I typically like to have the lead source. So I like to know what day the lead came into my database, where they came from, and then I want to know what type. So we can either put type here or we can put, you know, buyer slash seller if we're since we're doing a real estate database. Um, so let's go ahead and just use type as our as our column header. So date, lead source, what type of lead is it? Then we can give it the name the phone number, the email address, maybe some notes about the lead. So if they fill out a form with requesting more information, you can copy paste whatever they typed into that form box and put that into the, in the notes section. Or if they send you an email or leave you a voicemail, you can put in different notes so that you have information about this lead. Then I like to do a status so I know if I've actually followed up with them yet. I could either put, gave them a call, left a voicemail, emailed them back, and then lastly, we want last contact date. That way I can keep track and organize leads by when they were last contacted so I know when I need to follow up with other leads that have been sitting for a while that haven't, I haven't touched base with. If you want to get more advanced, you can add more columns um, like you know next follow-up date and you can create kind of like a little calendar row here so you can kind of keep a schedule of when you're going to be following up with different leads. Um, you can get into like you know commissions and you can add in a bunch of other different columns that get more detailed but for right now I just want to keep it simple we've got the date that the lead got added to our CRM where they came from what type buyer seller investor maybe they're both maybe they're gonna sell their home and buy a home with you uh, their name phone email some notes about them status have we contacted them left a voicemail uh, when that last contact date was, maybe the next follow-up date. All right, so let's go ahead and organize this a little bit. Date looks about the right width, type, name. We can widen this a little bit here, give some more space to put a name, uh, maybe a little more space for phone, a little more space for email. Then we'll widen notes because we're probably going to type more than that. Status, last contact date, next follow-up date. So what you can do is you can highlight these columns here and we're going to use the little text wrapping tool in the center wrap and that's going to help show all this text. It's going to break it down to a new line. Now we can go ahead and make this wider to get it back on one line if we want, but I think I like the width of it like that. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these columns here and I'm just going to center everything so all my data when it gets inputted will be centered in the cell. All right. Lastly, what we can do here is we can give our header a little bit of color. And so we're going to come here, maybe yellow color this. Came out more of an orange, but all right. So next, what we want to do is data validation. So this will save you a lot of time. So lead source, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the column. You're going to see this little arrow here on the B. So we're going to click on it. We're going to go down here to data validation right here. It's going to open up this data validation box. And what we're going to do is go to criteria and we're going to click list of items and we're going to be able to type in different lead sources here by using the list. So list of items, we separate them by comma. So what are some different lead sources? Well, we might have a call. We might have an email. We can put call in. Uh, we can have email. We could have Zillow. We could have Facebook, maybe Google. Um, we'll just call it Google. Let's go with website leads. Um, you can put social media if you want to be broad, like maybe they came from Twitter, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, 
Others could be signage if they called off of a real estate sign or referral. So you can think of different uh, lead source potentials in your business. Put them in here, comma, to separate each of these. And then what we're going to do is click save. And now you're going to see every cell has a little arrow. So all you got to do now is click on the little drop down arrow and we can click on one of these lead sources. So if I got a lead from Zillow, I could punch it in there. And then we can also set up some formatting in the date column so we can highlight the entire column. We can come over here to format and we can go under the one called date. So all we got to do is click that. And now anytime we punch in a date, so let's do, you know, 324 2019 for example, or we can do 324 and just leave it at that and it'll actually make it 324 2020 on its own. So it's already in the date format there. Now for type, again, we can set up data validation. So click on the little column C uh, drop down arrow data validation. We're going to go to list list of items. We're going to type in buyer comma seller comma both comma investor. All right. So now we've got all those arrows again. So if we had a, a buyer lead come off Zillow, we're going to manually punch in their name, phone, and email. There are ways to automate this data, though. If you want to connect some of your different lead sources to a program called Zapier, so we can come back out here to Google, just type in Z A P I E R, Zapier, and you're going to pull up Zapier's website, which it costs. Let's go to pricing and check out how much it costs, real quick. It's fairly inexpensive, uh, especially since it's going to save you a lot of time and help you do more deals. So they have a free plan. Uh, you can do up to 100 tasks a month and then you can get started on the starter plan for $20 a month. So if you do it annually, that's about $240 a year. Again, 20 bucks a month, that's fairly inexpensive considering it's going to automate a lot of your business so you don't have to spend you know an hour of your time doing something. It's, it's, you're going to end up saving you several hours a month uh, using zaps and setting these up to automate data in your business. Uh, and that's going to free you up to do more deals each year. So check it out. You can start with the free plan. You get five zaps. Uh, you can get up to 100 tasks a month. Uh, and then if you realize that you need more zaps, you can upgrade to that $20 a month plan. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our CRM. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set up zaps in this particular video. That'll be another video. But let's say we did have leads coming from Zillow. We could connect Zapier to Zillow and connect Zapier to our Google Sheet. And we could say, hey, when somebody fills out information on Zillow, I want to pull their name, their email, and their phone number, and I want to input it here into my spreadsheet. So you can set up that Zapier and it will automatically port that data into your spreadsheet. So it'll fill it in in a new row. And then after it's automatically ported the new leads into your spreadsheet, you can go in later and you know adjust any of these cells that you need to by selecting what type of lead, where the lead source was, if you're not able to set that up and automate that automatically. But if you play around with Zapier, you might find that we can automate all of that as well. Same with notes. You can pull any notes from the description on the Zillow form that they fill out. Um, status, again, this is where we're going to um, create maybe some more data validation. So we can come here to the data validation tab. We're going to click on list of items. We're going to type, um, you know, call, uh, let's see, called, left voicemail, emailed back, um, met face to face. So let's start with those. You can think of more and get more creative. Last contact date, next follow up date. These again, we can highlight these columns here we can go back over to the formatting and we can make these date formats. So that's a pretty rough sketch of our real estate CRM here. This is how you can make your own real estate database for free. So we can call this first tab leads. So anytime we get new leads coming into our business, we can fill in these rows with their information and it's a way to keep organized so you can see who somebody is, where they came from, what type they are, what date, when to follow up with them again, when you last followed up with them. Um, so it's a good way to track all your leads here. And then you can get more advanced. You can create other sheets in this same spreadsheet. Uh, so we can create a listings tab. We could create a showings tab. So maybe they come in here as cold leads to start with. 
and then you move them from tab to tab like a sales funnel so this is like stage one of the funnel and we can create like stage two maybe this is like my face-to-face -face meetings so all I would do is basically come over here and I would just copy all of these same columns again that way we can just copy records over from from one sheet to the next so when I get ready to move this lead so let's call this guy John Doe and we'll give him a fake phone number 555 555 5555 so here's our fake lead so when I qualify John Doe I've got him on the phone and he's ready to get to a face-to-face -face meeting he is no longer a cold lead so we can now go highlight his data we can cut it we can come over here to face to face meetings and we can paste him in so he's in the next stage of my sales funnel and then if we get him to the point where he's ready to maybe do a listing with us we can come here to the listings tab and again we can create the same basic column headers here so all we have to do is copy or cut paste into the new tab um, but we can actually get more detailed in this one we can put like property address you know list price uh, we can calculate commission if you want to set up a formula so we could do like you know 0 0.03 so like a three percent commission times this cell so we just pick the cell l2 click enter so now it's a formula so anytime we put a list price in here like 250 thousand it'll automatically calculate that seventy five hundred dollar commission if a three percent is your commission rate so we just punch in that formula there it'll automatically calculate your expected commission all right and then you can get even more advanced with that you could put in you know like the listing date or the listing expiration date so that you can keep on top of your listings so listing expiration date that way when you know if you're having trouble selling their house for some reason you can keep an eye on when that listing expires you can set up you know price drop dates so let's say if you still haven't sold a house by a certain date and you're approaching this date then you can go back to your listing and say hey uh, you know we've we've had this house in the market now for you know 30 days 60 days 90 days you could set up different intervals in here in your spreadsheet to keep track of uh, and say hey what do we, can we do a you know a five thousand dollar price drop today so there's lots of ways you can kind of get fancy here with a spreadsheet and type in different types of data to help you stay organized this is one example of a free DIY real estate CRM if you want to save some money and not pay for uh, a typical real estate CRM software um, you can just do it with Google Sheets so thanks for watching today's video I hope you gained some value if you want to download the template of this spreadsheet you can do so over on my website asknickfoy.com slash tools or if you join my real estate marketing school you can get free access to this template at any time by joining and becoming a student we've got a resource library that contains all of our free templates uh, blog articles we've pre-written for you to use on your website as well as many worksheets and other cool spreadsheets thanks for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in future uploads make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel if you're not and i'd love to see you hit that like button if you gain some value it will help me out and i'll see you guys soon